channel my name is Mahesh Karya you guys are watching me on YouTube now and in this session I'm gonna take you through Postgres so this is a tool that allows you to expose endpoints on the top of Postgres very easy very easy to use and I'm going to use a docker compose in order to configure a pg admin Postgres and Postgres okay so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it I already have VS code open here I'm going to open my terminal here and let me resize so it will be visible to you guys and here um, if you have npm already you can simply hit npm i hyphen g postgres okay so hit enter uh, i already have it so it, it should not take much and uh, do not forget to use sudo uh, if you are on linux or on mac okay and that's it i guess this is all you have to do in order to get ready with the postgres so uh, if you don't have to like if you are not planning to uh sorry uh i made any mistakes let it be doesn't matter you can directly use a docker compose if you have a, a docker already inside your system if you don't have it what you can do is to uh, get docker uh, for your system okay just install this for your according to the your system and uh, install this extension which will allows you to have a beautiful uh like ui in order to uh play around with it okay i'm not going to delete it okay so that's it i guess i'm going to quickly start with a uh, version version will be i generally use 3.9 and then i'll be adding a services services where first service will be uh postgres uh, with id password uh postgres postgres okay this sounds good okay uh you can uh use the alpine version if you want like like this or you can directly use the specific version or uh, like this you can directly use the latest version if you don't provide any specific things okay let's see if 30.3 is available or not or i already have a images where i can see the uh things post this this one and let it be i i can i see the version here i'm not sure so yeah after that you need a pg admin pg admin i would say so where you need to define uh, this is my uh, image okay latest one is something point seven point four point zero okay i'm not sure here you can provide any email address like i'll say postgres uh, where at pg admin maybe and pg admin dot com maybe and you can provide default password postgres okay so uh ports uh, that will allows you to uh, expose uh, the ports so i'll say on 5050 or on anything and it will be depends uh, depends on uh, postgres postgres is once this service get, get activated then only it will uh, start till then it will keep uh, keep restarting itself uh, restart always okay so i already have restart always here so no need to add this the last thing is a post crest okay this is my uh, very important uh, kind of service where i need to uh, get image from post crest okay restart always depends on postgres of course and uh, the port that i'm exposing for is 3000 okay so yeah this is it i guess volumes that we need to create a uh, volume somewhere uh, where uh, we provide the default default configuration or else you can directly use this okay so where this postgres uh, means this is my host host means this one this is my host okay it will automatically pick the ip for that uh, after that this is my uh, username this is my password and this is my database name that i have provided so all the things are postgres postgres and postgres so which will be easy for uh, us okay public is uh, something that i am using for now and yeah this is it i guess nothing nothing much and i'm going to you can remove this if you want so let's try this out i already have docker so make sure your docker is running okay by checking docker ps and docker compose have uh, up hyphen hyphen build it will take a while to get everything uh, running till then what you can do you can check here if everything is running fine you can right click on logs in order to check what's going on like this which will be easy for you to keep track of and simply drag uh, side by side so it will be easy for you so to detect like what's going on and in here you can simply open localhost 3000 so what 3000 will provide you is, is a swagger if you can see 
swagger ui maybe so in swagger ui you can directly drag and drop your uh, editor you can open and uh, you can configure the editor according to your choice it doesn't matter so i'm just uh, using this to it will convert to yaml okay uh, okay see here uh, this is the simplest uh, thing nothing much but what next is uh, very important you need to install this postman the postman you if you have already then uh, simply uh, what you have to do is uh, to uh, hit this api uh, and slash user this is the name of your table okay so i or i don't have any table exist yet so what i'm going to do is to open uh, localhost colon let me see uh, the pg admin that i'm using uh, here this pg admin is running on 5050 and this is running on 3000 so what i'm going to do is to uh, open my pg admin first and here i need to provide the email that i'm using it here uh, and this thing and this thing okay so let me open this quickly and here we go not now and yeah so what you have to do is to connect with the uh, new server so new server the host is postgres that uh, i that the name of the container this one and not a container name uh, make sure it should be this okay and the rest of the connection par parameters that we are aware of already so you don't have to worry about that in here you can provide the host name and password will be host name so that's this sounds good and you can directly hit save it should work and you can see here uh, in databases postgres is my database and here in schemas you can click on tables tables is something empty so you can create a table with name let's suppose user user can have a columns like uh, you can add new column I'm not sure about this UI how it works but for now what I'm going to do is to create a new table and I'm going to insert the row manually okay this is my column name let's suppose with the definition of where care and you can uh, directly use init as well like init SQL if you want and uh, for that you can simply write a create statement but uh, I wanted to make this easier for you guys not uh, too much complicated because it is a dedicated video to uh, what I'll say is for scripts so uh, I'll say insert script so insert script uh, will be normal name will be Mahesh okay and here I'll say Mahesh at gmail.com so this is simple entry that I'm doing here uh, it should be like this as per my experience yeah this is working now if I go here on here user if I hit enter I can see this entry here if you want to go through the document what you can do is I have, I just made an entry and the API is here okay this is not limited to this only like you can see uh, the documentation here and all the like it supports the JWT authentication things connection pool schema definitions and bunch of other things which is uh, really very exciting so just try this out the external API generation and all example apps templates all the things okay just uh, let me show you how you can use it like if you provide the name uh, and you can use this EQ like uh, uh, what we can say is greater than less than operators these are the operators so it will find that particular name okay and if I say Mahesh1 so Mahesh1 doesn't exist like it, it's not here right so it, here you can go through the API click on API and inside that the bunch of things that you will see here uh, table and views and here you can see these are the bunch of operators that uh, you can use in order to select and do bunch of things let's try the post query maybe that will be something with uh, you can enter the new entries like this okay and here instead of in here in body in 
json format i just need to hit this thing okay you can use limit and bunch of other things that you can explore on your own guys uh, but just uh, wanted to uh, enter the new element it should work i'm not sure uh, but it's not working though maybe like this so this post method somehow not working i i might need to uh, restart this not sure let me open my terminal let's see what's going on here uh, if you if you uh, wanted to stop this make sure that you are persisting the data in the form of uh, volumes here these volumes that i'm using so next time if i restart the container uh, it should not vanish from here okay just uh, uh, take care of this thing and uh, name email and password maybe something i'm missing the id uh, let's add a id yeah id is missing create column and i'll say id which will be definition of a uh, big int maybe and constraint will be default not null identity always save so it will be auto incremented and if i open this uh, thing so it should be auto incremented and next time if i hit enter okay let me let me remove this let me remove all the or orphans and run this thing again maybe this time it should work okay we got the empty response it means it got added okay if i remove this this time so i got this new one so this is how you can delete update put all the apis will work and you can uh, refer this documentation to provide the kind of security layer in order to not expose the things okay so this is how it works just go with and play around with it if you are making something the aggregation and bunch of other things as well you can surely find here uh, like this ascending order descending order and bunch of other things that you can see here which is uh, really very helpful and uh, limit offset these this kind of limit offset you can try uh, and whatnot like bunch of other possibilities that we have okay let's suppose if you have a user inside that you have an address schema so how to deal with that kind of uh, uh, inner joints and bunch of other things that you can create your own schema and bunch of things that you can do so yeah i guess this is it for this tutorial thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been pleasure to be here please don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already and smash that like button if you enjoyed and till then see you soon tata bye bye